Hello, and a very warm welcome back to Van Vibes and Sibes. Firstly, an apology, there's not been a video for a few weeks, but uh, that's because we've been away on our longest ever trip in the van. It was uh, 10 nights, uh, 11 total days, and we went to Cornwall, so look out for that in coming videos. Probably gonna end up doing a series on that, uh, so a number of videos. But, what are we talking about today? So, in reference to the trip that I just mentioned, we thought um, it might be good to have a toilet tent. Now, what we found is, as we've been going away recently um, in the van, it's really useful having the toilet with us. Um, we didn't think we would find it as useful as we have found it, actually, you know, for those late night, early morning trips to the toilet, which is really handy. But what we found is there's not really enough room in the van uh, to have the toilet and the dogs and us. Uh, so what we found when we've got the awning, that gives us a perfect place to put the toilet. Um, and obviously when we've been to Bargoed Farm, for instance, we put the toilet in the uh, hot tub sort of shed and that was fine. But we needed somewhere to be able to put, very easily put, put down um, like a toilet tent that we can put the toilet in um, and that meant we would have more space. Um, so, Having realised that we like using the toilet and we needed a toilet tent, uh, we set about deciding what toilet tent to get. Straight away it was fairly obvious that the pop-up uh, toilet tents that you can get don't really cut the mustard. Um, from what you read online, you know, a heavy downpour and they can collapse, you know, wind and they can be collapsing. Um, so I'd sort of straight away decided I didn't want a, um, a pop-up one. And when you go, I don't want to pop up one, actually there's not that many options available. Um, so we have gone for a um, Sea Haven Comfort Station single from Outwell. Now we have an Outwell tent that we really like and obviously doesn't get very much use now because we've got the uh, camper van. Um, so I really, really like the Outwell brand. Um, the other thing that I really liked about this is it looked very easy to put up and down and it's actually got proper metal poles which means there's no chance of you know, fiberglass uh, poles breaking and equally, obviously, because it's not a pop-up tent, it meant that you're not gonna have to worry about it getting blown over in the wind and stuff. Um, so yeah, lots of positives to this tent, uh, This sorry, this um, toilet tent. Um, so yeah, here's a quick video of us putting it up. It takes probably about, I don't know, maximum 10 minutes to put it up, I would say. Um, and some sort of key details that you can see from that.
There you go, I hope you've enjoyed that. Just a little uh, video of us putting the toilet tent up. As you can see, it goes together relatively easily. We've actually used this a few times since filming that piece of uh, video and have developed a few slightly easier ways of putting it together that make it slightly easier. So I would say it is quite difficult to put it up on your own. You almost need one person to be holding poles while you're putting another pole in. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. It's definitely not as easy to put up as a pop-up pop tent. Um, but yeah, we really like this and it has become very, very useful. There's some really nice features to it, but uh, as well as that, because it's a quite a good size toilet tent, what we found is it's really useful to store stuff in. So if we are going out for the day um, in the camper van, rather than try and pack everything away in the camper van, we, we can store a few bits and bobs in the toilet tent, which makes it much more easy to go in and out of the, of the site. So yeah, it's really useful. Definitely something that we use a lot while we were down in Cornwall. Um, as I say, that video is coming soon. But yeah, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. It really helps uh, people to see our videos, which is really good. Uh, and if you're new here and you've enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again soon. Bye.